Hello and welcome to Road to the Shirt. I'm your host Matt St. Jean and tonight we've got some great flag football games for you. First we're going to head over to Hendricken Field where we've got a fantastic matchup between two of the top teams in the Women's Flag Football League. 4-2 and two, Brady's Ladies taking on 4-2-1 and one Ball Handlers. Ball Handlers took the first matchup of the season with 14-6. They start off this one strong, picking off Monica Hatch. However, next possession of four Ball Handlers. Quarterback drops back, she's under pressure, she fires down the field, and it's intercepted by Maggie McKenna. That would be a theme on the day. Next possession for Brady's Ladies. First place, Zuli Dunn takes the snap and she's gonna run to the left. She breaks a tackler, makes another one miss. And she makes another one fall down and she crosses midfield, but she's got two on her and she's gonna make them miss and she's going the distance. She takes this one in, that's gonna be six nothing Brady's Ladies. Now time for the conversion attempt. Zuli Dunn looks to the right, throws into the end zone, knocked away. So this is going to stay a six-point ball game. Ball handlers looking to answer. It's the second half now. Throw downfield. It's going to get them across midfield as they're looking for that score. Still trying to tie the game up. However, next play, thrown. Again, intercepted by Maggie McKenna. That's her second on the day as she returns this one. Next possession for ball handlers. They were able to get a stop. Quarterback rolls out to the right as she needs the first down, makes a spin, and she's going to get across the line. Ball handlers are marching down the field. Next play. She's under pressure from Monica Hatch, throws across the middle, intercepted again by Maggie McKenna. Her third on the day. This would be a huge game for her. Brady's ladies with a chance to put the nail in the coffin. However, Monica Hatch takes her second sack in a row. That's going to give the ball back to ball handlers. Fourth down now for ball handlers. Quarterback throws over the middle. It's caught, but that's short of a first down. Brady's ladies will get it back. And Zuli Dunn is going to find Monica Hatch here. She breaks loose, takes this one to the house. And Brady's ladies are going to win this one 12 0 off of a great defensive effort by Maggie McKenna as they advance to 5 and 2. Now we're going to head down to the field where our own Chip Schroeder was able to talk to some of Brady's ladies after the game. Thanks, Matt. I'm here with Hannah Valenti, Monica Hatch, and Maggie McKenna of Brady's Ladies. Coming off a 12 nothing win. That's impressive. That's impressive. How was it out there? It was a tough win. Um, we were down uh, with no subs today, but we put our best effort out there. I think it showed in the results. Mm -hmm. Well, it must have been tough with, uh, with the change in the weather. Mother Nature has not been kind today. It's very chilly out here. How was that? How was adjusting to these elements? Uh, I think at the beginning it was pretty rough because it was really cold, so all of our muscles were pretty uh, tight. But once we started moving, it went pretty good. That's good. That's good. Three interceptions. Will you be leaving school early to uh, <laughs> declare for the draft? Um, I'm going to keep that to myself for now, but uh, if you want to come to the playoffs, I'll make my big announcement at the end. <laughs> Ooh, all right, we'll see. Hope she goes to the Pats. <laughs> and that's a wrap here from Hendrickin. 12 nothing. Brady's ladies looking strong, looking strong. Thanks for the interview, Chip. Brady's ladies had a great defensive performance, and that's actually led them to the women's championship, so be sure to check that out on PCTV Sports next week. Now, let's head over to Lennon Turf for an exciting flag football game. Team Jesus at 2-3, and three, Mario Kart Wii at 2-2-1. Two, two and one. Great matchup in the freshman league. First half, Jack McKean throws deep, and this would be ruled a catch. Mario Kart Wii is gonna get the ball right at the goal line. McKean now takes a snap and he's just gonna run this into the left for a touchdown to take a six nothing lead. However, that's gonna put Team Jesus's Chip Schroeder on the field. He's an electric quarterback. We'll see here, the very first play, he rolls out to the right, tiptoes along the sideline for a big gain. Just a few plays later, Mario Kart Wii brings a blitz. He's gonna roll out to the right. He breaks through a tackle, he's running down the sideline, tiptoes, gets around a man, and he's going to get into the end zone as he leaps. Not getting a whole lot of air there, but he's into the end zone, and that's going to tie the game. As we look at the slow-mo replay, just barely staying in bounds, they're fired up. Next possession, McKean looking for Manny, there's no pass rush, throws over the middle, and that's picked off by Matt Reardon as he runs this one back. Team Jesus with momentum, putting their quarterback back on the field. However, Schroeder, looking for a man in the end zone, feels some pressure, throws over the middle, 
And this one picked off. So Mario Kart, we able to answer, stay out of trouble, and they're not gonna let the interception hurt them. Now, on that possession, they throw it down the field. This one's incomplete. However, pass interference was called. That would give them the ball at the goal line. Mario Kart Wii looking for a score before the half. Quarterback rolls out. He's got nobody to the left. Fires back to the right. It's bobbled and caught. Touchdown Mario Kart Wii 12-6. Second half. Mario Kart Wii picks up where they left off. Got some razzle dazzle here. The handoff thrown back to the quarterback. They drive down the field. And now in the red zone, McKean's just going to take this himself, runs it right up the middle, and that's going to be a two-score game. Team Jesus would need a miracle to get back in it. However, that's what they would find. In swing possession, Chip Schroeder's going to hurl this one deep, and that's hauled in for the big play, getting them what they needed into the red zone. Now Schroeder would take this on a blitz from the right. He's got a man open, but he's just going to take this in himself. That's going to make this a one-possession game. Now the defense would need a stop, and they would almost get it there, just dropping the interception on third down. However, the next play, fourth down, they get the huge sack that's going to put their offense back on the field. Less than two minutes to go. Third down, Schroeder looking for a man, and he's going to find him to the left, but it's dropped. So that's going to bring up a huge fourth down. He rolls to the right, and now he's going to bring it back to the left as he's under pressure. Offensive line doing a good job. They bring another man. He's got to get rid of it. He throws it over the middle, and it's hauled in. Matt Reardon with a huge play. Now with seconds left, they had a chance for one last Hail Mary to the end zone, and it falls incomplete. Mario Kart Wii hangs on to get the six-point victory. They go streaking across the field in excitement. A great game there from Lennon Field. PCTV's Hannah Valente was able to get a post-game interview with both teams. Thanks, Matt. I'm here on Lennon Field for the freshman flag football game. I'm here with Mario Kart Wii coming off an 18-12 win. I'm here with Sean and Sam. We're going to hear their thoughts after the game. So, guys, congrats on the big win. That was an amazing game. What do you think was the best play of the game? Best play game, you know, there were a lot of great plays. We just went, went out there. People had good catches, good runs. Overall, great team win. Yeah, uh, Sean's not giving himself enough credit here. Late in the second half, Sean had a nice little touchdown where he batted it up to himself and re-caught it. it was very nice, probably the best play in the game. Thank you, Sam. I'm here with Team Jesus, who had a disappointing loss tonight. What are your thoughts? What, what went wrong? How can we maybe get a playoff bid? What are we thinking, guys? This is killer. This is killer. A lot of dropped interceptions, a lot of poor decisions by the quarterback. I'll take that. I'll take that. It's on me. Uh, but just overall, just so many missed opportunities. And even that last play could have been a fairy tale ending, and we just... Couldn't come through. Couldn't Thanks, come through. Chip. What do you think, Malik? I mean, we played our hardest, you know. I mean, I can't really blame anybody. We all had our, um, our flaws. So let's just say we're going to come back next year, 10 times stronger. Man's League coming through. Thanks for the interview, Hannah. That was a great defensive effort by Mario Kart Wii to hold off Team Jesus at the end and stop the comeback. Be sure to check us out next week to see all three flag football championship games. For now, I'm Matt St. Jean from PCTV Sports. Thanks for watching.